she's like, like, do you know who Alan is? I'm like, like, what, I'm like, what you talking about? Like, and then she was like, well, he have been locked up for, like, pretty much running a Ponzi scheme. He got like four million out of like 70 people. So I mean, when she was born, that's when I started thinking about it. And then just everything that just happened, you know, recently with Alan and everything, that's what kind of like, it woke me up. Did that hurt you? Yeah, I mean, I've known him since I was, since I was 12. Alan is his, his dad's He was friend, like my second dad. Who became, that just basically became his second dad. He became yeah. his businessman. That he found out that did some things that. Yeah, he was way more than that though. Like, like people don't understand basically. how much he you like. Know, took advantage of the kid. I bought my mom and dad a house, like he had a room. Like Whoa. a room in there, so like, like the media sees like like the way I feel about it was different. That's why I covered the BBB up on my arm, cause like when I saw that, I saw him. And that shit just made me so like I was tight, like, cause like when we looked at the transactions, the shit didn't start happening until my mom got sick, cause she took care of all the money shit. So that's what really hurt me. I'm like, I'm like that shit hurt me. Like I, I don't even know what I would do if I seen him right now. I ain't seen him. So it's like when that happened, like everything just went off. When you like I said, me and Melo was you, bro. So. Whatever you doing, we gonna be with you. Probably gonna crash down. I don't know. That's dead, so. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we should put that on camera. The, the childish thing that he does, because what's gonna hit him hard is he gonna look back and say, man, I was with that guy as time goes by. Because you can't be family. He didn't have no family, he didn't have nothing. But I make this guy bring him in like a brother. He thought his name was Alan Ball. And see, but that's going to hurt him more than me talking bad about him and stuff like that. He's going to sit in the room one day and be like, man, I was with that family and you can't beat that. So he's going he's gonna to hurt a lot. All right, you got it. Come on. He ain't taking cheese, bro. You know, I have facts. I got documents. I got... So, um, I don't know, bro. We smile on our face, and then uh, that's a sucker move right there. I'll tell you. Can't rock with him. Basically, I just drove out here just to let y'all know I'm gonna remove myself from from BBB. A lot of money stuff. Um, you know, I'm just done with it. I'm with you then. If you're taking off, but if y'all done, I'm done. But you're still going through this volatility of having someone like Alan Foster. Alan Foster, it. what are you going to do? Everything that he's done is, is, is been uh, false, it's fake. It's just like the documents that's been signed. They're going to find out that he forged a lot of stuff. And so therefore, I'm still going to go forward. That's why we're having a pop-up shop out here in Australia. He don't stop nothing. His last name is Foster. So originally, we are a family brand. I try to help him out by bringing him into the family. And that's why I don't worry about the things that he say and all of the yeah, man betrayed us. At first it was shocking, like, damn, he really did that. Uh, he let down a lot of people, mostly my dad, because, you know, say it was his brother and stuff, pretty much took him in all that. For him to just do that, it's just, that's up, I think. Well, no matter what, but, um, you know, at the same time, you know, if you can't, if you can't fix something, you got to go the other way. Uh, this is a raggedy ass situation. That's kind of messed up, but the positive is at least we caught it. We caught it now. Triple B's got shut down. So he went back in and we met him when he got out in 2010. Oh. We met him right when he got out. So, yeah. <laughs> After talking to Humble and um, seeing what the best, best plan is moving forward for me, at least, uh, we decided that because of all the negativity that's coming down on it right now, me being part of the brand is not the best look. So I'm just gonna remove myself and just just go like that. You know, plain sight, so it's not looking too good for us. How do you think your dad's going to take the news? Um, at first I think he's gonna take it pretty tough. Him and Alan, for the last two years, pretty much been you know inseparable. So you know I know it's gonna be tough, but you know I can't can't not tell him. In the in the long run, you really don't know people like that. As you can tell in the situation that I brought in Alan as a, as a friend and family. And if that guy can get close and turn like that, anybody can. So you just have to go with that, though. 
So as long as you're true to yourself and don't let people guide you in doing things that you don't want to do, he's had the perfect childhood. Big Ballers is Operation Shutdown. <laughs> as they say sometimes, all good things come to an end. Guess what? Start a new thing. When you're cleaning out your closet, is it tough? Yep. Difficult. Difficult to let go? Yes. Yes. Hard to let go. Damn. How bad does it hurt to hear the news about Alan? Yes. Yeah. A lot? Yes. A lot. Yep. Yep. 